Hey everybody, this is Joby, and today I want to show everybody uh, what you can do with Varla and Kalinda lights. I am by no means an expert. I love to play around with them though, and uh, I just want to show you a couple of things. I'm in my guild house right now in Cold Harbor, and this is the beautiful sign that Clown4300 made for us, and uh, I love it. UEM, Upper Echelon Mediocrity. I think it's fantastic, and you can see there's some Varla lights up there. We didn't have enough at the time and uh, I went back and bought a bunch more and put them in the middle row. The middle row is empty but now it is full and it looks fantastic. Uh, at the time he made this I didn't even know you could make signs and stuff. I was just like so surprised. Creative guy, fantastic job. Alright, so I am an overspender and I bought a million gold worth of Kalunda's and Varla's. Uh, I want to show you where I put them in the house or where Clown4300 put them in the house. Of course he did the sign and they're all along the side of the guild house. I don't have any more room to put these uh, in the house. I'm at limit. I'll have to take a bunch of stuff out. But you can see how bright they are. These Varla's and Kalunda's are what giving off this light right here to show the painting and it's amazing the way they work. They're all the way around the house to give it a real warm look. I think uh, it's beautiful. Love it. There's a bunch back here all over the place. So what we're going to do right now is I'm, we're going to go to a house uh, that's very dark and very small. And uh, let's check it out. I'll see you there. All right. So I am in the very first uh, house I ever bought. It is the Ebony Flask in room. And... I think it's in Ebonheart. Where is it? Sure is in Ebonheart. I might have bought one in... Uh, no, I did not. Pretty sure this is the first room I ever bought. Super depressing when you don't have these stones. And what I've done is I've taken... Uh, I've taken eight stones. One each of... Uh, or four each of a uh, Varla and a Kalinda. And I've put them in. You can see this is just like incredibly bright. Now what I'm going to do is take them out. Let me just... Uh, pick these up show you how dark it is if they're not in here even one is just super well I had missed one there hold on just a second I mean look it's like almost it's almost pure black it's crazy see how dark it is even if you just put one uh, look at this here we go we'll put a yellow one we'll put a a uh, Kalinda just one and then look at that incredibly bright well I mean not incredibly bright but much much brighter and then if you put another one beside it put a Yarla stone and you get that effect and here's the cool part. If you mix them together. And then it's fairly bright for such a small uh, stone. Now, the thing is, they're so bright, you can put them into the wall and they'll still shine so they don't have to be seen can just put this here right here and it'll still shine through allegedly well hmm for some reason it's not working okay you're still getting the light though you see and it's inside there if you put a bunch in there it will work now if you want to take those out all you have to do is go into your housing ed editor and then you put retrieve put that there and then you go again make this one there we go and you have those now if we put one in each corner you know it's super bright so we'll do that
go back to place. One here, one here, one here, and then this one can come over here. Let me take this Barla stone and put it here with it. go very bright for me lighting is the like my favorite thing of housing it's amazing I uh, I think it's very fun to play with and you can make any place look much better look at that look how bright that is I won't leave it like this I'll just leave this room like a little dank dungeon reminder of how Lonely I was when I first started playing the game. <laughs> but I love these things. I think they're fantastic. And like I said, I bought a million gold worth of them. So I have bunches and bunches. I will not sell them. I'll just keep them for all my different houses and stuff like that. But I think um, a great house to have is the Moon Sugar uh, place in Ellsworth. If you have that, what I want to do is go ahead and go there right now and show you what I did with that house. And uh, I'll see you all there. All right, so I'm in the Sugar Bowl Suite, not the Moon Sugar Madness or whatever I had said before. Um, this is uh, this is an Ellsworth and Rimmon right here. You can see, and here's the Way Shrine. This is the best house ever. I love this place. You can port to the outside of the house and uh, just run to the Way Shrine. Everything in here is I crafted, and then I I. Uh, Placed it. Of course, not the monkey. Look, he just scratched his butt and smelled it. Oh, my God. You are so nasty. And I put the rumpled bed because he messed it up, of course. So everything is elsewhere and everything is um, is uh, made by me. You can make things look uh, really nice. You know, uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't do anything except uh, it's fun. And uh, I do like it. You could put the Varla lights in here. I like the way it is right now with the... Um, with the uh, atmospheric style and the lanterns but if you wanted to put the Varla lights you could certainly make it brighter and you know I think these being so small they're really just uh, so bright and so small you know they're they're by no means the brightest light in the game the brightest light in the game is the miniature dwarven sun See, look how bright that is. That's crazy. If you want things to be super bright, that's the way to go right there. But uh, personally, I like the atmosphere, so I will not do that. But, uh, you know, just even just even one in the middle would uh, put quite a spot on there. And it's just so simple to place them. You know, they're like, they're just little tiny lights. And you can see that gives off quite a bit of light. That looks pretty good. Uh, personally, I would just, you know, leave, leave it the way I did it with a lot of candles, but, but you can see that it's a lot darker, you know, I like it this way. That's fine. And, uh, this is the first room I ever decorated or made. And I think I did a good job if I do say so myself. So, um, if you want this room or any room, all you need to do is, uh, go to the crown store right here. And go to the store and then you go to quest starters it'll be this up here I'm hitting my right bumper to get there but uh, I don't know on PC or PS4 how you guys do it but you just go to the store and rotate to the quest and then it's at the very bottom right here room to spare housing brochure you take this uh, we can, can't do a preview or anything I've already done it and then once you finish this quest, you'll go ahead and come to this room and there will be a lady outside. And if you talk to her and you've completed the quest, there might be some other prerequisites for questing. I don't know. But if you do it, you don't even have to pay. If they do make you pay, it's like 3000 or something. And I think it's worth it just to be able to port outside, you know, if you're doing things in Rimen 
with the new port to the outside of your house uh, lots of places are accessible and lots of them are near way shrines so I think it's excellent and uh, I love housing uh, clearly and I just think it's great well that's about it for today so please Give me a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think of the Varla lights. Did you buy a lot or did you buy some even? Uh, just let me know. I'm always interested. Lighting is my favorite thing in the game for housing. I love it. I always buy lots of lighting stuff. It's so, it's so f use you know so functional or so functional and so uh, so many different things you can do with it. I think it's great. Show me in Discord the most chill discord server on the planet there's a link in the description and if you're not doing anything 8 15 p.m eastern time follow me on twitch upper echelon mediocrity is the name of the channel have a lot of fun in there do all kinds of stuff events everything you can ask me questions if you need help with anything uh just type your question into chat and if i know the answer to your question i'll be more than happy to help you if you're on xbox north american server you can join my guild my guild's name is upper echelon mediocrity just like the YouTube channel and right now we have 483 total members no members pending 51 people online everybody's getting into the event doing their own thing having fun we've been going to PvP lately getting lots and lots and lots of boxes and gears gear and uh, having a great time we're not in the guild finder so you need to send me a message on Xbox my name is Koti C-H-A-O-T-E-Y and I'll get you in as soon as time permits alright so until that time let's get paid Thank you.